Hello guys, today let's create a camera occlusion masking effect in Unreal Engine. In top-down template, we will use a very simple way. And we don't even need to change the materials of mesh in the level. Of course, we can use this effect in third-person template. Here we have two meshes can be blocked. When we move behind this mesh, we can see the mesh is fading. Ok, first, let's create a camera occlusion masking effect in top-down template. Project settings, collision. We add a new trace channel. Rename it to wall. And the default response is ignore. In the level, we first create some meshes that need to use this effect. In order to easily find these meshes, we can create a material. Of course, in actual use, we don't need it because we achieve this effect by setting mesh visibility. Just set a black material. Give each mesh you want to use this effect a black material and select them. In details, search collision. We need a custom and wall is block. Okay, the black mesh can use this effect, other mesh will not. Then in Charter Blueprint, we need a unit tick and a sphere trace by channel. Okay, start location is our camera location. Yes, it's here. And the location is our mesh location. Okay, get camera or the location. Also mesh or the location. Here we need to add a Z axis of 90 to 8. Because its default location is root, we need to change it to pivot. Ok, sphere radius set it to 30. Trace channel is wall we just created. And draw debug type is for duration. Now let's check it in the level. Ok, we can see the sphere trace can hit the black mesh. Yeah, it's green. When we move out, we can see the sphere trace is right. That means no heat. We need to hit the charter. So in capsule component, collection, channel of wall is block. Okay, let's check it in the level. Oh, we forget enable the ignore self. Okay, we can hit the charter. Then we need to break hit the result. Add all hit component to an array and promote to variable. Rename it to wall. Now we can branch the hit result. If hit component equal to our charter, that means there is no need for uh, occlusion masking. If hit component not equal charter. That means there is a mesh that needs to be masked between the camera and the charter. So we add hit component to wall array and for each loop the array. Okay, we need another branch. If current array alignment equals the hit component, that means the mesh is current between the camera and the charter. So we can set its visibility to invisible. If they are not equal, that means the mesh is not between the camera and the charter. So we can set its visibility to visible. And remove the item from array. Ok, let's check it in the level. Yeah, it's invisible. Ok, if we move out, we can see... Oh yes, we forgot to set the result if current hit component is our charter. It's same with for each loop the array. And set is invisible because there is no mesh between the camera and the charter. Finally, clear the array. Now let's check the effect in the level. 
Okay, it's work. This is really simple. We don't need to set materials or other things. Just need a spare trace channel. Now let's create this effect in third person template. Here we can use material to make the occlusion masking effect better. First change blend mode to mask. And also create a parameter. Rename it to mask. Then we need a desert temporal. Use this material function, we can create a translucent effect in the mask blend mode. Ok, go back to third person charter blueprint. We first need to copy nodes in top down blueprint. They are the same here. Camera is follow camera. Also, we need a wall array. And the capsule component, the collision. Yeah, wall is block. Okay, we don't need to set visibility here. We need to use materials to control this effect. So let's get material and create dynamic material instance here. And set scalar parameter value. The value is 1. Yeah, it's visible. Then copy this node and connect them. If it's true, the value is 0. Also, parameter name is mask. Copy this node again. The value is 0. Same way, yes. OK, let's check it in the level. OK, we place some meshes, can use this effect. And their collection wall is block. Also, we need to change their material. Now, if our charter move behind the arm. Oh yes, the camera collection. We need to set the camera is overlap. OK, we can say it's invisible if our charter behind the arm. Then in material, we need a fade effect. At the screen position, mask our channel and subtract 0.5. Take absolute value and multiply by 2. Now we get a 1 to 0 to 1 gradient. This is the same way as text card, the UV. OK, save the material and let's check it in the level. Yeah, we can see the fade effect. This is great. OK, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.